childhood dream. When I was about six or eight years old, I saw the Beatles on TV, and I saw, you know, I had a million chicks screaming for them, and they had everything. They had money, they had fame, everyone wanted to be like them, and so did I. So I thought rock and roll was, was it, so I learned to play the guitar. And then um, after years of trying, when I was too young and got fed up when, like, I couldn't play any place except for friends' birthday parties, <laughs> I gave it up. And then about a year ago, Two years ago, I started hearing punk rock for the first time, and I said, hey, you know, I can hear people, real people doing it again. I could do that. In fact, I could do better. <laughs> things about being a reactor is that uh, I can literally do anything I want. At least that's the way I see it. Um, th there are no rules. I can, I feel comfortable sitting down doing something, you know, totally off the wall like Julian stole a supercar. I, I don't feel like I have to conform to any set, you know, song concept or patterns or anything. It's, it's, it's exploration on the cheap. You can literally do anything with anything you want. And that in itself is, uh, is pretty fun. People who are into punk are really not concerned with profits, more, more that they're concerned with music for music's sake. And a lot of people don't understand that. Punk will rule the world someday. It doesn't disappear altogether first. Until this band started, I never even considered playing punk, new wave, whatever you want to call it. Um, mine was sort of a heavy metal upbringing. I was a big Blue Oyster Cult fan. That's where I, th I thought it was. The cult especially because it was, you know, this hard rock. But at the same time, there was a lot of intelligence, there was a lot of, of a real humor to the lyrics and the whole concept. And when I first heard the Ramones, I thought, hey, this is like, you know, this is, this is very stripped down, very goofed up heavy metal, and I think that's one reason I got into it as easily as I did. And then when I saw that I could do something with it myself, it just, you know, the horizons expanded. Well, the whole thing is when we play live in general, it's just fun. We're, not, we're never as accurate as we are in the rehearsal studio when we get up on stage because we're jumping around. Well, I hope we're more accurate than we were in this rehearsal. <laughs> Yeah, well, this will just take time. But, you know, I mean, even when we have a really bad night, there's going to be somebody in the audience who's going to enjoy it. There will be people who are dancing. And you know, that, that always surprises me. How do you feel about playing at Max? Playing at Max? Well, it was fun last time we played. Yeah, you know. It was a good show. Yeah. It's not all, you know, it's, it was fun because it's in the city. It's the best people are going to get for around now until we get some more share of success, I guess. <laughs> Chain fell off. Need my chain going. You know, punk in New York is really great. It can be some, summed up in one word. What's that word? It's a very carefully just go. Yes, this is a farewell gig. This is our last gig ever. Last gig. Last gig. Well, this is the last gig in that it's probably going to be our last gig as a trio. We've been going on as a three-piece for some time. And um, after this, Chef has got plans for expanding the band, adding, you know, adding other guitars, maybe adding some singers. Um, everything's kind of up in the air at this point. Basically, it's just a matter of finding something that'll really go over. Oh, shit, I lost a button. Hey, hey you guys. Come on, you're on. Oh, OK, let's go. Let's go, time to go down and play. Okay, got all this film equipment on. I don't believe I'm doing this. 
Essentially, we're doing this because it is fun. If it wasn't fun, I don't think any of us in the band would be even beginning to do this. Cut. Cut Everyone. it is. Turn your amplifiers on before they turn on you. You better turn your amplifiers on before they turn on you. You better turn your amplifiers on before they turn on you. You better turn your amplifiers on before they turn on you. You better turn your amplifiers on before they turn on you. You better turn your amplifiers on